Good afternoon. It's a beautiful day here. Jefferson State District of Happy Camp Republic. We're here at the uh, Curly Jack uh, property. And uh, we've already, we closed on the property a couple weeks ago. And we're just starting to get things rolling here. We've uh, using it for uh, storage of some equipment. And today I'm here uh, doing some repairs on the garage door. But what I'm telling, what I'd like to show you today is uh, some products that uh, are uh, available from the resource-based economy, Happy Camp Republic LLC. First is a piece of uh, art that I just uh, made this morning. Um, I've been collecting silver again, and I am dealing in uh, value, or I'm trading in value, I should say. Um, and this is one of my first uh, uh, intrinsic value um, art pieces. Um, you can have uh, you can have this for two hundred dollars FRN Federal Reserve notes. Give you a discount for uh, uh, euros because you know, of course, they're a little bit better currency than than the fiat dollar. But basically, it's it's they're all silver coins. We've got like uh, let's see here four, um, five, um, five dollars and ten cents in um, ninety percent silver, and a one ounce bullion um, round and a half ounce uh, bullion round. So uh, it's about two hundred uh, or it's about seven ounces of silver. Um, which, you know, has a, a, a market value of, uh, I, I'm calling it $200, um, FRN, you know. Um, and then we also have uh, some uh, sage uh, smudges left over from last year. Uh, we're going to blow all those out here in the uh, next few weeks, um, pending, uh, you know, uh, picking season which begins next month <clears throat> and that is a this is a bona fide resource-based economy offer is especially if you live in southern california and you would like to um uh produce some value um we will need um partners labor to help in gathering uh sage and wrapping it and marketing it so if you have interest in uh, uh, natural products like this um, please contact us at uh, happy camp republic we have a new 800 number 1-888-927-8478 yeah just added a few hours ago. And, uh, yeah, you can contact us. Uh, contact, uh, uh, that, that would be, uh, just contact me. I'm, uh, extension number 101. And, uh, and, uh, we'll get you hooked up with, uh, with those, uh, with those resources. Uh, and re remember, we're doing this on a, a uh, non-monetary based um, uh, uh, trade system, you know, the resource-based economy. Um, if you have a need for these resources, um, you don't necessarily need uh, fiat uh, currency to uh, acquire them. So... I've been talking to my neighbors and everything about uh, Happy Camp Republic, and um, it's it's 
it's becoming really obvious to me that um, timing is right and what I'm doing is correct. And, you know, we can't wait for uh, the tyrants in the state capitals or in Washington, uh, District of you know, Columbia, to uh, do their duty, stop uh, committing the crimes that they, they've been committing, or to actually uh, 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 provide a redress of our grievances. Now, because I, I'm going to include a, a, a link down here to uh, a transcript that uh, Bob Schultz um, did on a radio show in 2003, and he was talking basically about um, the whole premise of with. Uh, uh, redress of grievances before taxation. Okay, so that is a fundamental First Amendment right, which most people don't understand. And when you mention it to them, um, they're like oblivious to it. And when you look at the Revolutionary War in a historical context that this republic was founded under, it was founded under a call of um, no <laughs> no taxation without representation. And what is the case that we have today? We have a um, collectivist uh, government which is instituting uh, privilege upon a um, select few at the expense of everyone. And th these are not the uh, basis of a republic. So what Happy Camp Republic is about is turning... Well, my goal right now is to establish what I would call a, a republic district. Because we have to redeclare our independence. We're not going to vote them. We're not going to vote in a new uh, government um, because the, uh, the corruption is not, it is present throughout the system. You know, all three branches of government are corrupt and they serve corporate interests. And the only way we are going to get satisfaction is to withdraw our, our tax money, take those resources and devote them to institutions that provide the Republican form of government that the corporate entities um, do not accomplish. Now, in... The corporate world, I mean, this all world, this is all great for corporations, which, you know, don't have to pay taxes, don't have to eat, don't have to, um, you know, worry about a place to live. Uh, they don't have to worry about energy prices. All they have to worry about is um, uh, fulfilling your, uh, you know, corporate um, uh, goal, whatever that may be. And most corporations are, are uh, you know, designed to avoid uh, legal responsibility. And uh, so the officers can uh, commit crime without being culpable. Well, we the people need to do that too. If we're really going to get... Um, the value that um, we expect from the government for payment of our taxes, um, 
we're going to have to do it ourselves. And we're going to have to, like I said, withhold taxes and establish institutions that go into direct competition with those monopoly uh, entities, be it a government, a uh, Fortune 500 corporation, or um, a uh, uh, criminal cartel. Um, this is the uh, realm of a dispute of a of a matter being resolved by your dispute resolution organization, and that is uh, one of the primary uh, functions of. Uh, Happy Camper Public is we're going to um, disseminate knowledge to the people that they <laughs> can regain their natural rights without asking the government for permission. And we will provide a, a support network and resources available for patriot activist entrepreneurs that are ready to um, put put the elites out of business we're going to produce a higher quality product doesn't matter if it's um, registering um, property like like this and uh, establishing um, special sovereignty districts, which we can do. I mean, I have title to this land. I can, uh, as long as the, I pay tax tribute to the government, I have tenant rights. But um, most people assume that... Um, you know, they got to pay their taxes before they can derive any uh, benefits from government. But that's just not true. Because, like I said, uh, just, Bob Schultz goes into a lot of um, uh, details in his transcript. And I just pff, briefly skimmed it. But, I mean, what Bob Schultz says is so... Um, um, inspiring because it's the exact reason that the United States Republic was established was to counter the tyranny of bankers that wanted to deprive the people of a means of exchange and storehouse of value. And that is, that's here again, that's what, you know, that's what these products are all about, is giving, providing products that are going to save, that are going to preserve your, your uh, purchasing power. Um, and we don't know what, what kind of um, actions could come from our tyrannical government in the future. I mean, like, for example, with the Liberty Dollar, um, the government um, felt it was justified and so far has not been held culpable for um, returning uh, the Liberty Dollar uh, silver uh, to the uh, rightful owners. You know, the, the government came in, confiscated our, our, our property without any uh, due process on a guise that a crime was committed. And that just wasn't the case. And in fact, they still have yet to convict um, Bernard von Nothaus. And it's been like two and a half years. So I, I really doubt they are going to convict him. The, the, you know, they, they can't. 
because the man has not committed a crime. They they say he's a convicted counterfeiter, but all he's do all he's guilty of is providing a means of exchange and storehouse of value, also known as money, to people that real, willingly wanted to buy it. You know, if um, I take that silver half ounce round there and I take it to the bank and they decide to apply some kind of credit to my account, that's not counterfeiting. That's an exchange of value. And that is the prerogative of private individuals. You know, you don't have to accept American Express. You don't have to expect, uh, accept Discover or any credit card. But you must accept the U.S. dollars because of legal tender laws, which are unconstitutional because they violate uh, the Constitution in that we are not maintaining a standard weights and measures to ensure a stable economy. So no wonder we have the, you know, depression that we are, you know, experiencing right now. So the, the name of the game is, is, is acquiring resources that we need without using their money and developing duplicatable um, means of production that we can um, share with anyone worldwide, not just in the United States, because this is a, a, a worldwide uh, phenomenon, this loss of um, purchasing power, inflation, unemployment, underproductivity. Um, <clears throat> these are all, um, these are global issues. And we as Americans, we're not going to return to a prosperous economy until we can find our niche again where we're producing high value um, goods and services and competing on a global level. You know, I was reading some article um, where uh, this guy was uh, describing um, ways in which uh, enterprises are becoming worker worker owned co ops. And uh, the disturbing thing that I, I've seen in it is that most of these these organizations are large uh, non-governmental organizations. Um, very few of them are um, small-scale enterprises. And then, and that to me, that kind of that, that's kind of disturbing because. Um, I know that the small business, the individual, is the real um, catalyst for economic growth and productivity, um, especially in, in our economy today. I mean, just here I've got, you know, um, $225 worth of um, uh, fiat value um, right here, and... You know, this is just, you know, I, I made these sticks last year. Um, probably took me, um, uh, it's hard to say exactly what the cost is, you know, because um, there was, you know, camping involved and a lot of, a lot of labor. And that's why I'm willing to um, offer, um, seats or uh, opportunities for people that are looking to um, uh, to uh, create some value this this uh, December um, and uh, establish you know a resource based um, resource based economic prosperity for yourself because um, Barack Obama ain't going to do it for you. And uh, guys like Jamie Dimon, 
they don't want they don't want to extend services to you either. So we have to create the money and derive value from it and beat the corporates in in a competitive business environment like 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 it is in nature you know there's no free rights there's no free lunch um especially for no- monopolies you know watch out if you're a monopoly better be providing good value and service to your customers or there just might be a uh anarchist uh uh, enterprise that um, uh, that puts you out of business, um, and you thought that you were a government organization or enjoyed a uh, monopoly because of some uh, 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 right, some privilege provided by a uh, sovereign state. Well. There's a new world order here, and it's called globalism. And if you're not ready to compete, then you're probably not going to prosper. So, anyway, this is just some things that I'm talking. I'm just talking some shit, so I'm trying to show you what's going on here. The Happy Camp Republic, and uh, show you how to do it, man. Show you how to. Become free. Stop being a wage slave, and become a a a, a value creation uh, expert. You know, and, and help you acquire the resources and knowledge and tools, materials that you need to produce um, your art. Be that whatever it may. Um, And if you haven't figured out what your art is, then maybe you should go hang out at the the Knowledge Center and um, talk to some people there about what you might be good at. What, What kind of resources are sitting around here that are underutilized, that are ready to be um, marked up. Um, and why I say marked up is that, you know, you take that piece of wood and you turn that into a value-added product that you market and um, fill somebody's demand. Or um, just provide it to somebody and meet their need without the requirement of a monetary input. Charity. Yeah, it's the future. Anyway, this is I, Mercury, Chris McCraw, reporting from Jefferson State District of Happy Camp Republic. Thanks for watching. You have an awesome day.